gentlemen, brothers and sisters, old folks, young ones, whoever's watching us right now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the seventh episode of the special 30 day Ramadan series, of course, with your favorite man and favorite host, Ahmed Ali, coming to you live from the holy city of Karbala. Now, tonight's episode is an episode you don't want to miss. Trust me when I say that. Because, um, number one, um, you'll get to know. And number two, you just have to stay tuned. But up until right now, if you old folks are chilling on the couch, old as a, I don't I don't mean like as an old old, but older than me, um, you know, bring your kids, bring your young ones, let them sit and watch because tonight's episode is about them and how you should take care of them in a specific way. Uh, we're not gonna give any 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 just a small hint. Anyways, now producer, Saucy, take us to West Trending. Welcome back, dear viewers. Once again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are live in the holy city of Karbala. Uh, and tonight, um, everyone is feeling good, everyone's feeling happy. Um, seventh episode, alhamdulillah, we are live from the holy city. Um, as I mentioned, it's 30 days that we are live. But, anyways, what's trending? Um, so, you guys have probably heard of uh, the heat wave that hit Pakistan. Uh, 44 degrees, 111 Fahrenheit. 44 degrees Celsius, 111 Fahrenheit, only the U.S. uses that, but 111, uh, so as you can see in that picture, full screen that for us, as you can see that right there, they're trying to cool people down. 44 degrees, and you're trying to cool people down. That's not an engine. Wow, is that water? Or is that juice? It's water, anyways. Uh, but yeah, so, and, and what's, what's um, interesting, uh, yet also unfortunate, this, this guy's like, Wow, with a power wash. <laughs> with a power wash. SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. Jokes aside, these guys, 69 people died. 65 uh, people actually died from that heat. Um, but 44 degrees, come to Basra. Wow, come to Basra and you see 65 degrees. Um, and, and, and they fast, SubhanAllah. They fast during that time. Um, people go out to work during that time. Um, but yeah, I mean, w w a quick story. They put eggs on the pavement and it boils. SubhanAllah. And you know, 44 degrees, 65 people died. Anyways, um, our, our condolences to those uh, who died or their families. Anyways, now, um, what else is trending? The second item for today, if you guys heard uh, that um, in China, they're trying to have they're trying to have a closer connection between the man and the woman, although uh, the, the number of men in China outnumber the number of women. And interestingly, in 2016, 33 million, 33 million were born, 33.6 million were born men, uh, more men um, than women. Now, that is, is, is a lot when, when, when you're trying to find out. But let's take uh, uh, the session of the, the, the seminary session that they are looking at um, for, for a man to be enrolled in that is $4,500. It teaches you how to go on dates, how to dance, uh, and, and all that. Astaghfirullahs. Um, you know, how, how, do you, how, do you get, uh, how do you date the dating etiquette? Uh, of, of between the, the men and the women. So a bunch of the Chinese guys just chilling there, uh, waiting there, you know, just to get some dating instructions, uh, if you will. $4,500, $4,500. They could have just came to me, Ahmed Ali. I would have done it also $4,500, but not USD. I could have done an IQD, uh, $4,500. That's like, what, $3 and a half? Anyways, I'm just kidding. Uh, but let's go and check out what today's topic is all about. Once again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tonight's episode, as we mentioned earlier, uh, benefits those who um, are younger of an age. Now, once we reach the age of 18, um, we don't depend on our parents as much as uh, we used to before. Uh, because 
uh, our mentality has grown, our um, intellect has grown, and we've just graduated, or you've just graduated high school. Um, at least I hope uh, you, you you did, and uh, you know, unless you slacked off or uh, you 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 didn't go to class and you failed. But um, hopefully everyone uh, graduates. But what we're trying to say uh, is that during that age, the hormones within the male and, the, and b b within the male and the female start to develop and the mentality starts to develop as well and when that happens we see the man getting attracted to the woman and when that happens we see a lot of changes happening within society especially within the young ones uh, and uh, one of the problems that does occur um, is the marriage or the, the, the it's it's not marriage it's it's the relationship that people have before they actually get to get married now tonight we're trying to focus on a few things tonight if you guys saw the poster we're talking about early marriage now we're not talking about ages 12 to 14 no 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 but we're talking about the late teenage early 20s uh, of what we need to do now however uh, there are people that say you know what I need to wait I need to see what the future has for me you know I need to get that job I need to get that car um, I can't get married I need to get that house I can't get married right now there's, there, there's a bright future in front of me why would I occupy myself um, with a responsibility which I don't need at the moment some people think that others and that's good it's, it's, it's a good thing. You know, you plan for your future before, um, you know, b before you get stopped by, by, you know, someone to get, or, or by a responsibility. Now, another idea is that a lot of people say that, you know what, when I do get married early, I get to spend a lot of time with the one I love when I was young, and then, because we, we can grow together. Anyways, our question for tonight is, are you guys ready for it? In three, two, one, there you go. Early marriage, good or bad? Is early marriage good or bad? That's your question for tonight. All you have to do is open WhatsApp, down the number shown right now, plus 964-774-067-1836. So plus 964-774-067-1836. Want you to do is call in, send us a question, send us a, a voice message, uh, or a text message. We are live on Facebook as well, uh, so you can go and check that out right now. Uh, but we just got the fishbowl. Subhanallah, what is this fishbowl for? <laughs> well, uh, this fishbowl uh, is is specifically chosen for you guys. Your names, any participant that participates in the show. Your names will be placed in this draw. We got the pen coming out. Uh, your name will be, will be uh, placed in this draw to win a free trip to Karbala on our house. There are other many, many giveaways that we are giving away this Ramadan uh, as well uh, for those who participate in our live show. But let's take a very short break and we'll be back very short. So do stay tuned. Now, for those who, when, when you guys read the uh, poster or when you guys saw the, adver the advertisement for t tonight's episode, um, we were taught, tonight's topic, as, as we mentioned earlier, is about early marriage. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we're not talking about the age of 12 or 14. Uh, we're talking about the ages later on in, in your teenage, um, later on in your teenagehood. So when you become an adult, 18, early 20s, 21, 22, something like that, along those lines. Now, according to debate.org, there's a race between those who say, um, or who, those who are against, um, against early marriage and those who are with early marriage. So 51% say that, um, that no to early marriage, and 49% say yes to early marriage. Now, I agree, I mean, Early marriage has its pros, as 
any idea does, and also has its cons. We'll check out the pros, and then we'll go into the cons. Now, the pros of early marriage, if you were to look at them, a lot of people say that there's no perfect time for marriage. You're going to be as clueless as right now as you will be in 35 years old. So if you're 18, you're going to be close of marriage unless you like get into other relationships and you get to know the headaches. Um, no, not the headaches. It's, it's good. Uh, but um, you'll get to know what or you won't be able to understand f fully. You won't be able to fully understand uh, marriage. The second pro is that when you marry early, there's no pressure to have kids. So basically, you have an entire life in front of you, or you have, what, six, seven years in front of you, that there's still room for you to have kids, there's still room for you to develop um, um, as young couples. The third pro is your, your, your uh, or you can go on yacht right there. Oh, the co-producer got us a yacht. So you can go on this yacht right here, uh, or the, the cruise ship, uh, and, and spend your, 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 uh, your, young, uh, your young honeymoon, if you will, on, uh, on the uh, cruise ship. The third pro, your late teenage years are precious. So you want to spend those moments, and every single individual remembers those teenage years. You want to spend your late teenage years, not early, late. You want to spend those moments with a person and share those moments with a person that you love, that you adore. Um, and at the same time, um, with the person you care for the most. The fourth con, your kids will be like your best friends. When you have kids at an early age or at a young age, your kids won't call you grandpa. You know, imagine someone having a kid at the age of 40. By the time your kid is 20, you're 60 years old. But if you have a kid at the age of like 20 or 21, by the time your kid or by the time your child is 20, you're just, what, 41, 40? So that right there, there there's not a lot, there's not a huge gap between your age and the age of your son or your daughter. Now, another one is that you stay out of committing haram. And this is um, a key thing, because right now, um, as you mentioned in, uh, in a few episodes ago, we were talking about how social media is playing a huge role um, within um, our youth especially. Because anything that's thrown at the youth right now, whether it's music, uh, whether it's movies, uh, whether even if it's news, uh, whether it's series, things are thrown at our teenagers and at our young adults that make them more sexually active. So by er marrying early, you get to spend those halal moments with the one you actually need to love and you need to spend time with. Now, we have a map for you that shows the legal minimum age marriage uh, for girls worldwide. Let's take a look at that map. So that map right there, there's a lot of green on that map. Um, so so the, the, the green means 18 years old and um, the light green 16 or 17 years old and then the yellowish 14 or 15 years old uh, and then the 9 uh, or the, the light reddish is like 19 to, to 30 um, and then in the red, there's no minimum age. Where do we see red? We barely see, there's no red on there. Um, yeah, it's like one small country, but yeah, you know, and the other color gray is not verified. Uh, but what we're trying to say um, from the pros that I just talked about, don't go running up to your parents right now, telling them you want to marry the girl you had a crush on when you were younger. No, 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 no. That's not what we're trying to chill. Chill. Chill for a bit. Wait. Because we're going to get to the cons very soon. For everything, for any concept, for any idea, uh, for anything that we do say, we have to present the pros, um, and then we have to present the cons for you. 
Now, the cons for early marriage are quite a few as well. If we were to go through them, we might need an extra time, but I'm going to skim through them very swiftly. Number one, the responsibility. And oh yes, with marriage comes a huge responsibility. Because with marriage, you know, before you getting married, your mom used to cook for you, your mom used to do the laundry, your mom used to clean your room. But now when you're married, you know, it's, you can live with your parents, uh, but technically speaking, when, you, when you're married, you need that you know, open space, you need that free space just for you and your wife. Um, and with that comes responsibility. You need to provide, you need to bring food, you need to um, bring everything that your wife needs, especially um, if right away um, she's pregnant, then the responsibility grows. Uh, but let's take a very short break and we're back to continue uh, the rest of the uh, cons for early marriage. Once again, welcome back to hashtag LNT, the late night talk. As you can see, the desk right here saying late night talk as we are live in the old city of Karbala. Once again, we do remind everyone uh, to call in and join us tonight. Um, as your names, anyone that participates in tonight's show or in the upcoming shows, your names will be written down and placed in this fishbowl right here to be um, drawn at the end of Ramadan, inshallah, for the final draw. Um, for a free trip to Karbala along with other um, giveaways that we are giving away to you guys or to, to the winners. Now, uh, before the break, we were talking about a few cons uh, of early marriage. We got to the first one. The second one, uh, on the contrary of the pros that we had, teenage life, your teenage life is very important. You need to spend a lot of time trying to comprehend your school, trying to actually figure out your career. So when you do get married later on, that idea or that plan that you might have had during your teenage might just go away. Your later teenage life is very important. You just graduated from high school. You're, you're planning a whole career in front of you. So that right there, is very dangerous if someone doesn't fully understand what marriage is and gets married or he is forced or she is forced into marriage. Number three, divorce. We just received a text message but let's, let's read that af after we talk about divorce. Now, uh, divorce, when you're young, you're not fully understanding what marriage is all about. You might fall into mistakes you might become short with each other. You might act differently because your mood is still changing, your mentality is still changing. Yes, you've matured, but you haven't matured enough. So that's one of the pros of cons. So divorce might come, um, or the, a lot of people say early marriage does result into divorce. Is that true? We're gonna have to see after this. Uh, text message that we just have received from Fazi Moon from Trinidad. Okay, again, uh, Fazi Moon from Trinidad. She says early marriages has its advantages and disadvantages at the same time. Uh, for or is that a she or a he? I don't know. Uh, but for example, the person might think this is the right person uh, for them now, but later on, the road they see. But later down the road. Um, they see someone else. Okay, mm. thank you very much, uh, Fazi Moon. Uh, your name was written down and it was placed in the bowl. Um, so thank you very much for, to, for participating uh, in tonight's episode. Uh, now, uh, and I do apologize if, 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 if you're a he and I said she, um, I do apologize for that. But if you're a she, I said she, we're all right. Uh, we are getting a few text messages. Um, but yeah, guys, whoever sending me the text message, Send the other number of the text message, not my phone number. So send the other uh, number. It's plus 964-774-067-1836. The fourth con, we're continuing on cons. The fourth con of, uh, the fourth con uh, or disadvantages of early marriage 
uh, is education. Now, when you're young, it's, it's very difficult to continue your education. When, you're, when you get married young, it's very difficult for you to continue your education because as I mentioned earlier, there's a huge responsibility on your shoulders. So if you can balance between the two, that's amazing. And you can rarely find someone that can do that. And if you can, that's going to be a problem. But we just have received a, a, another text message uh, from... Uh, so, all right, so well, it's, it's going to show up very soon. Now, um, the fifth disadvantage of early marriage, we're going to move uh, very swiftly through them. The fifth advantage or disadvantage of early marriage is career. Now, as I mentioned earlier again, when you're sitting or when you're thinking in your teenage or in, in your later to when you're 18 and you're trying to plan ahead um, for a career, marriage might stop you from that. And again, it comes, the responsibility comes again. You're limited. If you're trying to work night shift, your mind and your soul and your heart are at home. So there's a problem right there. You need to grow your career life and then go get married. Um, that's one of the disadvantages of marriage. Now, uh, let's, take, let's see this text message that we just have received from. Khadija again from Tanzania, mashallah. Uh, shout out to our fans in Africa and Tanzania and Trinidad. Now early marriage, she says early marriage, Khadija is a she. So early marriage uh, is good if the boy is responsible and so is the girl. They should both be prepared for taking responsibilities mentally and physically. Uh, of course, thank you very much Khadija from Tanzania for joining us tonight. Um, okay, so Fazi Moon. Fazi Moon is a she, um, so uh, I take my apology back. Um, but anyways, thank you very much, Khadija, for joining us uh, tonight. Your name is also in the bowl. Uh, inshallah, you will get the chance to win the free trip to Karbala. Um, now, the fourth one or the seventh disadvantage of getting married uh, are children's life. Now, according to CDC, children born out of teenage mothers tend to have a lower score in school because especially in the west if you have if you're trying to have a sustainable life both the man and the the man and the woman or the male and the female need to work in order to have a sustainable life unless you're well off then that's a different story but if you're just getting married you've just graduated and trying to get married that right there uh, the the children's life you won't have time to spend with your children you put them in daycare so the time you spend with your with your kids um, which is very crucial for them um, will reduce the uh, the children's score um, in school now number eight health health is also another issue uh, within uh, or one of the disadvantages of early marriage. Uh, but let's go check out the expert and what he has to say about tonight's topic. So let's go and do that. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa alihi al-tayyibin al-tahirin. There is no doubt that in Islam, early marriage is encouraged. وَأَنْكَحُ الْأَيَامَ The Quran says that let the, the young and the ones that have not been married get married. وَأَنْكَحُ الْأَيَامَ مِنْكُمْ وَالصَّالِحِينَ مِنْ عِبَادِكُمْ وَإِمَائِكُمْ And when we come to the narrations of Ahlul Bayt, we see an, an overemphasis on marrying at a young age, when you're young, you haven't picked up bad habits, you're easy to change, you can easily adapt to your partner's needs, um, you could change uh, your, your sleep pattern, your work pattern, your daily routines, and so on and so forth. Uh, when you're young, you'll have a lot more suitors, you'll have better chances of, of getting married, starting a family, having children, um, 
you go out and you work, you make a living when you're young, you're, you have a better chance of supporting your family at a younger age. So there's no doubt that getting married at a young age is something positive and something endorsed by Islam. Of course, what do we mean by young? Uh, obviously above the legal age. And two, an age where the person feels mature, feels responsible. Now, too young is not good as well. Some people get married and they don't even know the meaning of responsibility. They're not even mature to live with another partner and start a new family and have children because they are children themselves. So this is something very uh, important to, to care for. At the end of the day, it differs from person to person. One person can be ready at the age of 21. Another person can be ready at the age of 18. Another person can be ready at the age of 27, for example. It varies from person to person. The level of maturity, being responsible, feeling the responsibility, being able to take care of a family and raise a children, it varies from person to person. So one should not marry young just for the sake of marrying young. The person should marry as long as that person feels responsible and can start a family in a mature way. If those conditions are met, then this person should marry as young and should not delay marriage until he's older in his 30s or she's in her 30s. The younger the better, as long as the requirements are fulfilled. Uh, thank you very much, Sayyid uh, Hassan Qazwini, for joining us tonight. Um, we do thank everyone, uh, or so we do thank Sayyid Hassan uh, for joining us tonight. It's, it's been a long time since we had him, uh, so uh, great shout out to him uh, for joining us tonight. Now, um, we are receiving a few phone calls, inshallah, will we'll come through very soon. Now, uh, one of the things that Sayyid Hassan also talked about uh, is if you feel ready and that's one of the most important things um, that we need to consider um, as young individuals because I'm young um, so uh, one of the things that we do need to concentrate on is that if we are um, able and if we are ready to get married early now we do have a call from Fatima from India Assalamu alaikum. I just want to say that uh, okay. Alim Ali is not bad, but uh, we can't concentrate in our studies. Still a dream, no? Yes, hello. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm listening to you. I was about to say welcome to hashtag guarantee, but yes, continue. Hello. Yes. So you, you think early marriage is 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 not good because you is not bad or is not. Early marriage is not bad, but we cannot okay. concentrate on our studies and academia. Now yes. we cannot fulfill our dreams. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, uh, Sister Fatima uh, Vakil from India, for joining us tonight. Um, yes, if, if, if you think, in your opinion, that, that makes sense, then uh, why not? But uh, your name will be placed in the ball, inshallah. Um, India. Okay. So uh, your name will be placed in the draw. Um, so for tonight, so we're so we're we're trying to conclude because we have less than a minute to have uh, less than a minute to, to conclude. But at the end, if you're ready for marriage, go get married. If you're mature enough, go get married. Um, if if your parents feel like you need to get married, then go get married. That's it for tonight of Hashtag Gal and See with the man Ahmed Ali. Um, do join us in the upcoming episode, inshallah. 2 a.m. Karbala time, 12 London, 12 a.m. Uh, London time, and two, uh, 7 p.m. Uh, DC time. Once again, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.